Hello guys, and welcome to some Smite. Uh, this is a game that is in beta at the moment. It is open beta, and wow. Well, <laughs> anyway, let's get into playing here. Um, this is a third-person MOBA-styled game. Um, if you know anything about a MOBA, you have three lanes, and there's minions that spawn every 30 seconds. They aid you in your fight, and you play as god, uh, as gods. And I'll show you a little bit here in a second. The screen, a little thing's gonna pop up. Accept that, and that puts me in the match queue. So whenever the match goes to start, I'll be able to join. Um, these are the gods that you can play as: Arcane, the Weaver, and it's a Greek god. If it would load real quick, you see, and there's different skins for a lot of them. They're pretty cool. <laughs> It started as soon as I started. So I'm going to be playing as Artemis. Uh, this is a ranged, as you can see, ranged physical damage. She has a bow. Yeah, she plays the role of a carry. And she has lots of damage for one person. So if I'm fa uh, facing off against one person, I'm going to be able to do a lot of damage to them. So I'm going to go ahead and lock in here. These are the other skins you can buy and such. However, um... I do not have any of them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it's going to probably be a little while before everyone chooses a character. And hopefully it does not take a long time though. Alright, I wish those other two people would pick already. Come on. Alright, I'll come back to you once it's all... Uh, once they are made up their minds. Alright, they finally decided, well they didn't decide, it came down to zero seconds and it basically chose for them. So, the game just launched, and now we're all waiting for our, our connections to be good. And our little squares at the bottom right of our character cards will turn green when we're all good. And then we'll get into the game. So as you can see, all but one person is green, and that's the person who's neath at the top right. Uh, hopefully this will go speedily. Here we go. Let the now I'm in the game. All Artemis right here. As you can see. Um, hold on one second. Alright, and we're back, guys. Sorry for that little outing of me there. So, let's see. What kind of build am I going to do here? Uh, I think I'm going to build up some penetration and damage. So, let's go. We're going to go here, and we're going to do some penetration uh, for physical, because we have a physical attack. We're, yeah, right here, this will probably be the best. We need some attack speed and some physical power, so we're going to buy these. We're going to tab B, and then, of course, we're going to get some healing potions when stuff gets hairy in the middle of battle. So, yeah. So we're going to run into battle here. This game has a really cool art style. I quite enjoy it. It's fun to play. Uh, but I'm probably going to die quite a lot. So I'm going to go left lane here. Minions have go stopped. and try and pick up some people. And as you can see, uh, the <coughs> hot bar at the bottom has the F1, F2, and F3. Well, if you press K, you can see this in full detail. So these are your abilities. Uh, this is the ulti down here, but you have these three abilities, and I can choose, I think, one or two of them An at the moment. Has been slain. So, we're first gonna go ahead and get Vengeful Assault as our first, because that will allow us to, um, give our bow a lot more power. So, I'll check this out right now. You can see my bow's now glowing as I shoot. And, okay, I have another guy with me here, so I might not die. As long as I got some backup here. And as you could uh, see, maybe when I was getting at the god before we chose him, uh, it said that low defense. That is very true of Artemis because if you're trying to fight someone and then they end up, uh, someone ends up coming to try and help them, you're most likely going to die just for, because of the fact you don't have much of anything. So I'm going to pop a health potion real quick. Um, as you can see, you also have mana, so each time I use this special, Easy to get. When I run out, as you could probably guess, 
you can't use that ability or any ability at all. And I'm going to probably die here. So I'm going to press F3. Get my third power. Plus the ring of arrows. Oh, I'm about to get the kill. And I got the kill. So there we go. Uh, it helps this team out a lot. It is, well, not in this mode, but um, in other modes, uh, uh, such as uh, Arena. You have to get kills for tickets. I might play that at some other point. An enemy has been slain. But for now, we're just going to do Conquest, which have these enemy towers, which are supposed to destroy, and eventually we'll move on to the Phoenixes. And there's three of them, as you can see on the minimap at the top right. And then beyond that is the Minotaur. And you have to kill the Minotaur to win the game. So, yes. Also, you can see the mana slow is re uh, slow is regenerating. Well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and recall myself, so actually, I'm back. So, no, no. so I'm gonna recall myself, and this will take me back to the spawn, where everything will begin to recharge, and I can buy some items. So you can see I generated a lot more coin. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up the last. Um, uh, the last tier up of those boots. And hold on one more second. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm back. Sorry, I had to go change a couple things. Um. Oh, also, yeah, these are the minions that I was talking about before. And they, like I said, they spawn every 30 seconds. And they come, and they'll go and head on fight the other minions that spawn at the same exact time. It's also a good idea, these guys will run into the tower zones, the enemy tower zones. And if they go in and then you go in after them, the tower will target them first and not shoot at all at you. Until the last one of your minions dies that you're with, and then you're pretty much just screwed. The tower will target you, and begin to kill you. Okay, good. So I just picked up another kill. It's all good, it makes me feel good about myself. And the team. Let's get this all. Freaking spiders here. See, now that the minions have gone in, I can go ahead and run in here. Actually, I'm gonna get my ulti going. Drop a couple arrows. Okay, see, I've been targeted by the tower because all of the other uh, minions had died. Drop this special. So all these guys are just making the crap out of the front here. Gonna do a special. Ooh, whoever is neath right there has very low health. So if I let all of these guys go in, pop a health person. And then maybe if I can weave real quick. And maybe if I freaking aim could be any better. Oh, an ally has been slain. Oh, actually no. I might be able to pull whoever go. Never mind. And. Yes, I just got murdered because I was stupid and An got run away quick slain. enough. <clears throat> Boom, Brawl, who is one of my other favorite characters to be. Oh, very fun stuff. But yeah, that's basically how the game plays. You just run to the lanes, you destroy their towers, uh, then their phoenix, then their minotaur, while you're facing the other gods, Your and the other team is trying to do the exact attack. same to you. Now, it is... A, uh, there's some people who do not buy items, and by that I mean this, and that is a very bad idea. Because these items can give you an edge in battle, like critical uh, critical hits, uh, how much damage they do, and how often they occur. You can do movement speed, attack speed, and so on. Um, attack speed is something critical with a character like mine, where if I have... Yeah, like I do, I have Your high single character attack. damage. If just that's the case with my character, um, it'd be a very good idea to get attack speed. That way, I can basically just get this massive damage dealing character with a high movement speed. Which is very devastating to the other team, and is very good uh, carry trait quality. As you can see, we're going to have a snipe battle here with Neath on the other team. Let the minions go in, and I'm going to jump in here. Run after slain. her. And my An enemy has been slain. Uh, this tower is going to take out these other archers. I'm going to run out of here. I'm just going to sit around and wait. 
see what goes on. Help out, kill these minions. Oh, that's special. And yeah, kill that ogre. No good will get fast. Wow, these archers don't have much life left. So I'm gonna actually help destroy this tower after we have some more uh, minions spawn in here. I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my second tower. Bring some arrows down here. Take care of my chest arrow. Okay. And then die. So at least I came away with a kill there, and did some damage to the tower, and oh yes, this person right here is trying to get a team buff. Now there's enemies in the jungle which is the middle of the map, that is around the three lanes, and it gives your team a whole buff. Like I'm not exactly sure what these do, but you can do, there's team speed, um, there's the attack power which I'm pretty sure they took out. And there's the mana boost and the health An boost. So that could be any of one of those. It's hard to say which. I don't remember. I don't really go into the jungle to try and do that. An enemy has so let's get some more game. penetration going here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Ooh, this is good. So we're going to go ahead and get that. An enemy and that's the second slain. tier. And we can upgrade that to third tier. Third and final tier later on. So I'm just going to keep on going left lane, I'm not going to change it up, uh, simply because there's already this tower and it's really worn down, and it seems like everyone else is distracted towards the other lanes which have more powerful characters. Um, because really it's just me and Neath over here that are attacking this lane. But that's a good thing, because then we can have a lot more control over here. And if it's I Ogre out. And we'll kill these minions. Let my guys run in. My people run in, so I'm gonna run in and get their tower down. We need to cut this. Let our archers run in. Uh, take it down. Oh, great. We got Emir coming our way. Now, if you do not know who Emir is, he is the or whatever the heck you want to call him. Oh, the Frost Giants. He's actually pretty darn easy to kill. It's funny to see. We took him out. His knees went in the jungle, or is that knees? I'm not sure. I did not get a good enough look. But she ran in the jungle, came out. You guys surprised. Me. I didn't know what hit him. I probably should have pulled her with the kill, but I'm not sure what it's not what this game mode's based on. So, nothing to really fight over. Now that's something to get angry over. An enemy has been slain. Need to just come in freaking constantly in there. Your so we're gonna upgrade our third attack. Left An enemy tower. has left the game. Okay, and we're gonna attack. Pop our second. And we're gonna grab. You have slain an enemy. Make sure not to die from these guys over here. An ally has been slain. Okay, we're gonna take them out. So. Oh, okay, so, sweet. The Minotaur has fallen. And my team is victorious. Or actually, yes. We have won. So there you have it. It was actually a very short game. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this little look at Smite. I'm going to be doing a lot more of these kind of videos. So, uh, yeah. Please like the video. Maybe even share it. Uh, subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.